Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's another segment of internship tips. And today we're gonna to be talking about how Fidel and Johnson landed an Amazon internship specifically for software engineering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Fidel, do you wanna start off with that? Sure, yeah. So we're just gonna go over some stuff that we did to prepare yeah. that we think helped up, helped us especially. So I was a computer science major. So my, my course is a little bit different, but there are specific classes that you can take that are super important. Um, in terms of prepping and like getting the prerequisite knowledge for the technical interview. So one of them is a data structures class. So mm -hmm. there's going to be a data structures class. It's going to be a computer science class taught somewhere at your, your university. Mm -hmm. um, it may or may not be called data structures exactly, but the idea is it teaches you about, I mean, data, data structures mm -hmm. and then like time complexity like, space complexity yeah. there's a lot of like key concepts that they're going to mention a lot of buzzwords yeah. like learning runtime i think is like one of the most important things possible for like a tech interview yeah especially with like the questions that they ask right and you wouldn't learn that from an intro like just an yeah. intro computer science class so it's like an extra class that you have to take that covers it just like prepares you for the types of questions that, got, that they're going to ask you because mm -hmm. keep in mind that this is a technical interview mm -hmm. so it's less about like, hey, tell us about your experiences. It's more like, here's a problem, and they want to see how you think. They want to mm -hmm. see like you solving that problem. Other than just like classes you can take, there there was data structures. There are some other classes that are less relevant, like classes on software design or implementation that you can take, just to learn about like what it's like, like the internship process. There are like, Johnson knows this yeah. as well, but there there are t there are main probably introductory CS mm -hmm. classes that everybody takes. Mm -hmm. If you're studying computer science or really like any technologically yeah. related field, but data structures is a class you kind of have to go out of your way to take. And I know like I I knew this ahead of time, so I took it before taking the prerequisites mm -hmm. for it because I wanted to be ready for my interview. Mm -hmm. Like people told me, hey, take this class. It'll help you for interviews. Yeah. And it was really, really hard when I took it. But it was it was one of the most important classes that I took. Definitely. Like for every interview I've had, I had to like, they've asked me questions on like just runtime, for example. And right. Like how much space it takes. Yeah. And like I would have to like come up with that. Like I would have not known how to do that without taking a data structures and algorithms class. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, but, but other than classes that you can take, there are some resources that you can use on your own, just regardless of what school you go to. One of them is Leak Code, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. um, it's just this like massive online database of problems that other people have had in interviews. Um, and you can just solve them. Um, and the cool part is you can like submit your solution. It tells you like how good your solution is pretty much, how it matches up against other people's solutions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it gives you a lot of feedback and like it walks you through the solution once you're done. Mm -hmm. It is a paid service, but um, I know what a lot of people do is like we just split it with a yeah. friend. And uh, another resource, the other resource is more like, um, I guess like meta, I guess, like it talks about how to prepare mm -hmm. is Cracking the Coding Interview, which yeah. we talked about in another video. That's a book. Yeah. It is a book, yeah, yeah Cracking yeah. the Coding Interview. Um, and it's more of a resource on like things that you can do to prepare. Yeah, it's like the like, behavioral part. Right, right. Like, like how to think, yeah. um, how, to, how to approach problems. Mm -hmm. And they have this whole like layout of, if you're two months out from your interview, or two months out from applying, like it walks you through mm -hmm. exactly where you should be in yeah. the preparation process, which is really cool. It has like yeah. this whole timeline thing. Mm -hmm. It tells you how to think through problems. Mm -hmm. There's like a specific way that you want to talk about problems. Yeah. Um, it's like, I feel like with this book, like you could be really smart, but still not get the interview. And that's just based on the fact that you don't know how to approach, like mm -hmm. you don't know how to like answer the questions on how an interview wants to hear, hear it, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, I know in Cracking the Coding interview, they have specific like segments of, yeah. the, of the chapters dedicated to like, if yeah. you're going to go to Amazon, Sorry. you're going to go to Inter Microsoft or whatever, yeah. they tell you exactly like what to look out for mm -hmm. and there's specific things. And so for Amazon, we know that there's like the Amazon leadership principles and they're these yeah. really like, they, they're not a secret or anything. They're, they're like, you can go visit yeah. them they on actually, their website. They actually tell you to like... Right, they want you to know about <laughs> yeah. them. But you'd be surprised that the people that don't take the time to go and just like read about the company yeah. they're going to be interviewing at and just like really memorize those like... Look up, look up their mission statement and just become like the perfect candidate. I know it felt like during my interview, at least what it felt like was the person interviewing me it seemed like they had a checkbox, mm -hmm. like or maybe like some piece of paper in front of them. Yeah. And then every time I would say an Amazon leadership principle or like reference it yeah. through one of my projects, they would like make a little check and they would be happy 
like that i was appealing to what they were looking for in candidates Mm -hmm. it's they have to have some sort of way of like gauging applicants and they want us they Mm -hmm. want you to be a good fit for the company at the end of the day as well